Well, we're just bumping along a dirt road here. <laughs> Real washboard, so I'm only doing like six miles an hour. We left Ely, Nevada and headed for Great Basin National Park. But when we got there, Mon this is Monday night, when we got there everything was full up and one campground was just closed and there's no place to stay there so we came down and we went to Strawberry Creek which you used to be able to camp at. Now after you get back in off the highway for a ways on this really bumpy road there's a sign that says day use only. I wish they would have put that sign out on the highway where we first turned off. Well, we started out after we left Great Basin looking for a place to camp. We mentioned to you we went up Strawberry Creek and that was bad. And then we went up a National Forest Access Road, but the National Forest was way back in. So and the road was so dusty and we just, I just washed the outfit. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I didn't want to go up there. So we uh, headed uh, west back towards Ely and only went a few more miles and we came to the Sacramento Pass Recreation Area. Big BLM camping area, covered gazebos and picnic tables and a beautiful little pond, but there was, every spot was taken and only the open parking area was available. Off to the side we saw a road that said Equestrian Trailhead and Campground. So we started up the road, no sign saying how far that was going to be. But just after we started up the road, we found this beautiful little campsite that we're in right now. And this will be it for tonight. We're good. It took me, uh, it was really hard getting in here. I'm only 100 feet off the dirt road, the access road, but there was some really steep gullies and I actually had to put it in four wheel low to, to back in here. And I didn't want to pull it. I always like, I always like to park headed out. I never like to have my outfit parked headed in you know where I got to back out to get out I want to be able in case of fire or something like that to just drive out so it was a little tough backing in here which is one really great thing about having a small trailer and four-wheel drive we were able, able to do that just fine anyways it's going to be a beautiful evening catch you later I thought of going up there but it's too much for a little short Oh, you can do it. You're stronger than most. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking we kind of settle in for the evening and then tomorrow we can do some exploring. Yeah. I'll go up there with you. Well, there's cracks and crevices. It's easy for your foot to go in and... Oh, got to be careful. Yeah, just sat down. It's been a busy day. Yeah, uh, a long one too. A long day. Started before sunup. <laughs> yeah, we moved camp. Had to move camp. We got swarmed. I got up this morning to make coffee like I usually do and give Linda a chance to do her thing, getting dressed. And I went outside, got swarmed by hornets. So I told Linda <laughs> we had to pack up and get the heck out of there. Couldn't make coffee there or do nothing. Nikki said they were the uh, murder hornets that were promised for 2020. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway. Yeah, so we moved and we did end up in a really pretty space, uh, just uh, another half mile down the road in uh, National Forest, just a few miles southwest of Ely, Nevada on Highway 6. Outs outside the uh, Ward Mountain uh, State Park. Yeah. State yeah. campground. State campground. But anyways, 
that's how it started. And then after we got, you know, our morning routine done, we went into Ely and then it was laundry. laundry. What else? Answer comments. Answer comments. I had a, there was a hundred comments I had to answer. You guys, I, I tried laundry. to. Laundry. Laundry. <laughs> laundry. Yeah, she did the laundry while I stayed out and, and did comments. I, I love you guys' comments and sometimes it yeah. takes me a few days to get back because we're on the road, right? So We read all of them. You bet we do. Fill propane, get gasoline, headed for uh, Great Basin National Park and got skunked there because there was no space for us. Anyways, right. we ended up in this beautiful spot. God was watching out for us. So isn't this a beautiful place to camp? It is, except for one thing. I think you get the idea. Don't do that. This is the desert. When you throw your tissue on the ground, it literally stays there for years. It just doesn't go away. You know, yesterday we mentioned that we went to Great Basin National Park, we wanted to see the 10,000 year old yew trees. We've seen them before. It's really something to look at a living organism, organism that, that's that old. But uh, all the campsites were full and we half expected that. And that's why on the way there, we were checking out other uh, camping areas along the way, which is how we ended up where we're at. But this summer, uh, this, this season, 2020, you can expect that all the campsites are full, even during the middle of the week. A lot of people are out there traveling, you know, especially if you go to uh, national parks, national monuments, state parks, they're full. And we still f find great places, but you see, that's what this channel is about. We don't spend much time in the national parks and, and busy campgrounds like that. You know that we're always out looking for remote campsites. Let me see if I can explain this. It's like, I get people that ask me for the latitude and longitude of the camps, of the camps that we find, but that, that's not what the channel is about. The channel is about making it possible and encouraging you to go find these places. For example, we don't know where we're camping tonight. It'll be a total, uh, um, you know, discovery for us. And that's why we say life is an adventure for those with the courage to explore. We're encouraging you to get out and find your own places. And that's why we share um, how, to, how to look for places on BLM land and in national forest land. Sometimes it's not that at all. Sometimes it's like in the Midwest, the little old towns that still allow you to park or camp in their city parks, they're out there. Or how about the ice cream shop in Farson, Wyoming? It's a crossroads in an old Pony Express way station uh, that 
that's all basically all there is is that little that little shop on the at the intersection in Farson that sells ice cream huge ice cream cones but we asked them them one night we were going through late can we camp out back and they said sure go ahead it's those places it's it's i don't know it it's the allure of just being on the road and taking everything as it comes so I encourage you, Linda, I know, agrees with me on this. We encourage you to get out and just explore and take, take the road as it comes. See what you find. Anywhere you camp, you're going to be near a road, in this case a dirt road. Just one little thing to always think about, and it's just common sense, park on the upwind side of the road. Otherwise, every time somebody goes by, you're getting a cloud of dust. This has been a real nice camp for Linda and I. We're leaving it today and going to head south. It's a little chilly this morning, so uh, that means go south. <laughs> so we'll be, doing, we'll be pick, packing up camp here shortly and heading that way. <laughs> so what did you think of Sacramento Pass Equestrian Recreation Area? It, it, the rocks were amazing. It was, it was it's, a beautiful it, place, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. And we found a nice private little uh, camp spot. But it was the only private little camping nook back in there. And I don't think every, anybody can get in there. There was three really nice RV spots if you drive back in where it says campground at the trailhead camp uh, campground right uh, no hookups but really clean all nice gravel and everything and then down in the overflow area just off the highway there was huge areas to camp down in there mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them had porticos and picnic tables and or you could just camp in the parking area down there too yeah and there were uh, porta potties right yeah. there were porta potties down and there trash uh, containers so no water yeah anyways if you like the video please like share and subscribe and see you around